Requesting all the participants to please mute yourself. Sandhya? Yes, yes, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. A am I visible? Yeah, you're visible. Thank you. Your uh, 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 voice is also clear. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Yeah. Thank you. Kindly mute your devices. Your students are late to no. come. There's a problem in my country.
Yeah, Dr. Sandal, shall we start? Hello? Uh, I think we should start. Yeah, yeah yes, ma'am. Yes. So, uh, a warm greeting to one and all present over here. So, I'm Dr. Mithun, Assistant Professor, Department of Surgery, BHMC, here to host today's session. So, we all have gathered here on this online portal stream to witness our very own practice since 2020, commemorating the 88th birth anniversary of a founder chairman, Engineer R. Mugam sir. So we shall start today's session with a silent prayer towards Mother Nature. So thank you. May we feel blessed. So a wise man once said, when the rivers are all dried up, and the trees have all been cut down, only then the man will realize that he cannot eat money. So if the plants and trees would have given Wi-Fi, maybe we all would have uh, taken more pain to plant more and more trees around us. But indeed, it is oxygen. this planet to live on it so we should take some individual steps and individual measures to save our earth so that we give a better tomorrow of our future generation so today's session maybe we would get our answers on how to sustain with the mother earth so now i request dr sandhya kalidas ma'am to give a welcome speech and to introduce our special guest faculty today ma'am sandhya ma'am yeah. please thank you dr Mithun. Uh, good morning to one and all it's a great honor and privilege bestowed upon me to welcome this August gathering today for this webinar in commemoration with the 88th birth anniversary celebrations of our founder chairman, Sri V. K. Arumugam sir. Our founder chairman, an electrical engineer by profession, but had a sparkling vision to build, shape, and revolutionize homeopathic healthcare system in order to reach the needy and to create homeopathic physicians to serve the humanity. It's my pleasure to welcome our Honorable Managing Director, Sri A. Siva Subramaniam, sir, esteemed principal and correspondent, Madam Dr. Shakuntala, trustee, Mrs. Padmavati, ma'am, sir, my dear fellow colleagues, friends, and my dear students. The entire world is in a duo party due to this pandemic. Though it has given the most challenging time for all of us, it has also provided an opportunity for us to learn from many quarters, be it the traditional aspect of hygiene at home, greeting each other by saying namaste, or the emerging concept of adapting to the natural way of living. At this juncture, we, we have the right resource person insight on sustainable living, the way forward for the sake of Earth. On behalf of the management of VHNC, and the Environmental Club of our college. I am honored to welcome our chief guest, Dr. Sultan Ahmed Ismail. And it's indeed my great pleasure to introduce our chief guest, an ecologist and a soil biologist, to this forum. It is a custom to describe a person who is simple, benevolent, and straightforward as down to earth. And this aptly suits our son of the soil. Dr. Sultan Ahmed Ismail, director of the Ecoscience Research Foundation in Chennai has a rich teaching experience in the Department of Zoology and later in the Department of Biotechnology for years. In fact, we our age is equivalent to his uh, experience. Much me even many ecology and environment, earthworms and organic inputs since 1978. He has been associated with several institutions, farmers, and self-help groups promoting the concepts of ecology, sustainability, organic concepts, waste management, wastewater treatment, etc. He has been recognized and presented with several accolades by various governments, non-governmental and international organizations. He has authored several books 
and also guided hundreds of research scholars in the field of environmental sciences. To just name a few, Arinyar Anna Award by the Department of Environment, Government of Tamil Nadu, India for Environmental Education and Awareness 2005, Commonwealth Association of Science and Technology and Mathematics Educators Award in the, during the year 1994-95 and many more. In fact, this one and a half hours time wouldn't be enough if I run through his uh, achievements and this thing. So I don't want to take the precious time and I want to hear from him. So I am restricting myself and I would definitely leave the for you to explore whatever that he has achieved and what we can benefit from him. To say precisely, the dedication he has towards Mother Earth can be equated to the love we have towards our mothers. Another amazing observation after a brief read about Sir, I humbly submit that Vallavanaku Pullum Ayudam, but I can rephrase this now Vallavanaku Purum Ayudam. So here is a great man proved that Purum Ayudam, and I welcome you, Sir, to share your noble thoughts. And over to you, Sir. Thank you again, and welcome you again. Wonderful. Thank you, Sir. Wonderful. Good morning, participants, and uh, uh, thanks very much, uh, Dr. Sandhya, Dr. Mithun, and the management and everybody for your wonderful uh, introduction and this opportunity to interact with uh, all the familiar doctors and all the other parties. Participants for participating today. Just as yes, so certain as to what audible, are and the presentation is also clear. Sir. Um, because most of you are students of homeopathy and other sciences. Doctors, what we do is nowadays most of these things are going to go online, and uh, PowerPoint is going to be a very important tool by which you are going to make our presentations. Unfortunately, it has become a passion to write sentences on PowerPoint and just read PowerPoint on slides when you are trying to make a presentation. This particular aspect is called as death by PowerPoint. Tamil is all upon So please see to it that you also learn how to present or make a PowerPoint presentation. In fact, I don't use PowerPoint. PowerPoint is a tool by, by uh, Windows and uh, uh, the other group, Microsoft group. I use another tool called as uh, Keynote by Mac. I have not come here to teach anything new to you children. You all know. You all know as to what is what. I have just come here to share my experiences. Because there's always a huge learning which can go from the cradle to the grave. People talk about climate change. Climate change. The moment it should be, please understand that here is a human being happens to meet with an accident and we amputate his limb. In case I can give back the limb, it is called as restoration. But can I give back his limb? So what do I do? I give a wooden leg. And that is called as rehabilitation. So what we can do for nature is only rehabilitation. Nature knows how to restore itself. Human beings cannot restore nature. Please understand this concept. It's a very wrong concept when many people say that I have restored the ecosystem, I have restored the lakes, I have restored the forest. You cannot restore. We can only create an environment by two ways. One, mitigation. Mitigation is one action where, you know, like you try to tell people that, okay, fine, from today I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to use plastic. I'm not going to burn things. That's called as mitigation. The next one is, I just don't care. That is adaptation. So let us all try to go towards mitigation. You are all students, students. And as students, I wanted to ask you one question. Very important question. Do you listen in a classroom or do you learn in a classroom? This is very often I ask them because I have been teaching for 46 years now. And as a student, do you listen or do you learn? Because when you listen, you will remember. But when you learn, you don't forget, children. You don't forget. Remember maybe for one day or one year or one semester. After that, you can forget. But when you learn something, you don't forget. 
if you remember you will qualify you will qualify but if you don't forget you will achieve something in life and if you qualify you will survive you have vela vetti kadichu but when you achieve you impress on society and when you survive one day we are dead and gone but when we impress on society we become immortal like now we were talking about the founder though he was an engineer he wanted to achieve something he wanted to impress on society and that is what is important in life that is what is important today when you look at an environment there are bullets which are attacking the environment one of the most important bullet is solid waste <laughs> you all know jada kali verb you know tamil the second one is effluents yes chemicals and other industrial effluents waste water and then encroachment by various organizations so we can tell you very good how it has been encroached upon by various organizations you know lots of water bodies which are encroached upon near porur and other places you are aware of all those things soil use pattern in the alavuk rasayan to be cut it how much of chemicals we have dumped into our soils hazardous chemicals which we release due to industrial development and various factors and the last one is our water use pattern we have neglected all this and probably this friend came to remind us that you better take care or i am going to destroy you he is silent reminder in corona so mati usi ko shall we think different yeah children please understand that these are the three basic characters air soil water neer nilam kaatu if by the air soil water when we talk about these things right from your school days we have been wrongly been educated about this children if you try to recollect even at college level if you have e college as a paper the teacher will come and tell you living non living virula porul viratra porul he will tell you or she will tell you air air is non living and then the teacher will tell you are living so i am living but air is non living okay accepted but if you remove the non living air from my body i become non living this nobody tells us water is non living we are living but remove the water from my body i become non living that's the beautiful relationship that exists and that's the reason why in indian culture we give importance to the panjabudas now when you talk about panjabudas that's our ecosystem a beautiful ecosystem we have human beings birds butterflies plants animals all living together and in this ecosystem two very important components they move one is energy that flows and second the nutrients which cycle energy that flows and nutrients that cycle and in this concept only i always ask children because they're all doctors who eats more elephant or a dog so understand the basic of these things because the moment i ask this question many children they say enna sir idu yaana dana perse elephant is big so elephant will eat more but children you are all doctors if you take a weight of an elephant is roughly about 5 tons if you take a weight of a dog it's about 20 kg now if i am going to give grass to the elephant to eat for the whole day i may give 50 kg of grass but if i have to give meat to the dog i may give 1 kg of meat maximum as doctors you know that medicine or food is prescribed based on the weight of the animal the 5000 kg elephant eats 50 kg 1 kg weight of the elephant eats how much it eats only around 10 grams whereas a dog eats almost about 50 grams so who eats more elephant or dog dog eats more than an elephant why should a dog eat more than an elephant because the dog is at that trophic level where it eats sorry the elephant is at the trophic level where it eats the grass which directly fixes the energy <laughs> whereas the dog is at the next trophic level which eats the meat of an animal which eats the grass which fixes the energy what is the that's the reason why in india we call ourselves vegetarians immediately some of you may say that no sir some of us non vegetarians yes but we didn't mean thali vegetarian my envy thali one kudunga you are ordering for it and what do they give you rice which is vegetarian 
roti or chapati or puri, which is vegetarian, kurta, which is vegetarian, uh, you are avial, which is vegetarian, sambar, which is vegetarian, rasam, which is vegetarian, dal, which is vegetarian, salad, which is vegetarian, sweet, which is vegetarian, thair, which is vegetarian, and one small bowl having one piece or two pieces of meat or chicken or fish. We are predominantly vegetarians because we believe in the energy flow. So please maintain this in our lifestyle. The shift to the modern culture of uh, fast food, where you take only non veg is not suited for our traditional culture of energy flow in our systems. That is where this word comes in. It's a beautiful word. Eco, E-C-O. We write from the Greek word echo, O-I-K-O-S, pronounced as echo. Now, O-I-K-O-S means home, weed, illam. If I study about the home, it is called as ecology. If I evaluate the home, it is called as economy. The problem today between these two, between Sritrusul and Purladaram, is that there's a clash. And in this clash, something burns. And what burns is ecology, because people want economy. Right? <coughs> you know, how come biodiversity? Tamil Pallu bring up. This biodiversity is very, very important. Bio means life, diversity means variety. If you start looking at it, India, our country, is very, very rich in biodiversity. Very rich in biodiversity. Please understand, we have varieties. We have so much of varieties that even in one variety, we have several varieties. If you take Takali, we have several varieties of Takali. You take Avarakai, we have several varieties of Avarakai. Take Katrika, several varieties of Katrika. There are so many. We have beautiful flowers, lovely birds, magnificent animals. And all these belong to our country. You can read it for yourself. Now, what happened was, when the Western people came to India, when the Europeans came to India, they started calling our food with animal names. Cow pea, pigeon pea, chick pea, horse gram. Cow pea is your tatapair. Pigeon pea is your patani. Chick pea is kadalai. Horse gram is kuldu. And we thought animals are supposed to be eating it and not we. In the bargain, what has happened? Today, horse gram juice is available in, uh, in shops. The price because we don't. do any more things like that animals so many varieties we have boss indicus which is our cattle you can see the hump in our cattle you can always find the hump you see this is the hump whereas in the case of western cattle there will be no hump taurus you all know in the zodiac sign clear taurus up in boss taurus they are boss indicus but the new classification is boss taurus taurus boss taurus indicus namna to madu panna to madu abdin pes ranga but enak theriji idu desi idu paradesi so we have these two varieties. <coughs> Next is the poultry farming. If you go into poultry farming, we started this Kori as not to Kori. That is where the problem starts. We are not proud of our own biodiversity. Our own biodiversity, our own chicken, we have to give a separate name called as country chicken, not to Kori. And we started calling this Kori as Kori. And this particular chicken, when I was young, at 70 days, will stand in attention. Now, in 48 days, stands in standard ease. Because of heavy doses of hormones and antibiotics in the feed. Also, look at fish, what you eat. Fish is supposed to be very good. Doctors, you advise that it gives you a lot of uh, alpha, uh, omega fatty acids and all those uh, important components. So, all these are our fishes. Freshwater fish, katla rohu mirigal. We all enjoy it. And being a coastal city, we all enjoy the sea fish. All these fishes are very good, especially mackerels and sardines are supposed to be very good for uh, fatty omega acids. But unfortunately today, this is the fish which is sold in the market. This fish is imported from foreign countries. It's a catfish, where the skin is removed, the bone is removed, the fillet are prepared, chemically treated, made into an ice cube, and is sold in Chennai market for about uh, 200, 300 rupees a kilo. When our own fish costs around 600 to 800 rupees a kilo, and during uh, Corona costs around 1,000 to 1,200 rupees a kilo. 
இதை அழகா பண்ணி குக் பண்ணி ரெஸ்டாரண்ட் சர்வ் யூ பியூட்டிஃபுல் இன் திஸ் வே அண்ட் யூ என்ஜாய் இட் ஐ எம் நாட் அகேன்ஸ்ட் யூ ஈட்டிங் ஃபிஷ் நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் கோ டு த ரெஸ்டாரண்ட் ஆர்டர் ஃபார் எ ஃபிஷ் பட் ஆர்டர் ஃபார் அ ஸ்லைஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபிஷ் வித் போன் இன் இட் சிம்பிள் வெரி சிம்பிள் right or, or you order for the small fish definitely nathali meaner yeah and about try this lift could pa i want to, if i destroy this bird not one but the species in the course of time the plants associated will vanish the insects associated will also vanish today we are missing this fellow maybe henceforth in future children when you become elderly people you may not be able to see the plants associated with this bird you may not be able to see the insects associated with this bird I happened to visit one of the institutions long back where there were no flowering plants normally we find butterflies drink nectar from the flower and i was surprised to see butterfly drinking ma if this is what is going to continue in future squirrels will be eating lollipops okay that's our cattle we all know our cattle we started it was part of our agriculture system part of our agriculture system we made use of the cow dung to prepare cow dung cakes varati tayarichu we also created started making manure yeru tayarichu both of this was very common and then the biogas plant came in simultaneously this will okay the moment we got machinery we said we don't need you we don't need you tamil la solla pona enniki naanga kaal nadaiya velanmai lende nagathunomo anni lende engalukku aivu kaala aarambichu the moment we moved animals from agriculture that was a wrong decision for us because tractor can plow the soil but tractor cannot give us dung right fine when you plow the soil i have reduced the videos because sometimes the google doesn't support videos going online when they are incorporated so i have to use only still pictures kindly bear with me so when you plow the soil the soil comes up <coughs> the soil comes up beautiful but when i use a heavy machinery the tires they compact the soil most of the portions of the field gets compacted when compaction takes place soil air escapes nadu irukka kaathella veliya pedu when soil air escapes soil organisms suffer soil organisms suffer fine that's a tree so uh, dr mithu was uh, introducing the tree is very important tree gives us all this but one thing as a doctor here after it's please emphasize you doctors please emphasize that per day we inhale around 550 liters of oxygen and today a 2.75 liter oxygen cylinder cost 6500 rupees which means each one of us we inhale around 13 lakh rupees worth of oxygen per day idu mukkiyam thana dr mitun was saying that we have to plant trees because one tree one tree a good tree nalla valanda maram per year per year it gives me oxygen worth 24 crore rupees 24 crore rupees and but we look at a tree vetana evlo dutte how much money will i get if i cut the tree and when you cut the tree the soil starts facing the sky vanam patha bhoomiya maarudhu so when it rains mala peyum bodu the soil gets eroded and all the top soil goes into the sea nalla purinjinga top soil goes into the sea and top soil please remember to develop 1 inch of top soil ஒரு இன்ச் டாப் சைல் உருவாகிறதுக்கு நேச்சர் டேக்ஸ் அரவுண்ட் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் பிப்டி டு ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் இயர்ஸ் ஷுட் வி நாட் ப்ரொடெக்ட் இட் அப்படின்னு சொல்லும் போது தான் உடனே கேட்கறாங்க சாயில் மண்ணு தானே மண்ணா போ அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அந்த காலத்தில் போடா மண்ணா போ அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஏன் ஈவன் மை ஓன் டீச்சர் யூஸ் டு டெல் அவுட் வென் ஐ வாஸ் எ ஸ்கூல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் அப்போதான் வந்து எனக்கு வந்து ஒரு மாதிரி கண்ணோட்டம் மாறுது ஐ வாண்ட் டு திங்க் அஸ் டு வாட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் வாட் இஸ் சாய் வாட் இஸ் சாய் விச் ஐ ரோட் இன் மை புக் மண் மக்கள் மகசூல் நா வென் வென் யூ ஸ்டார்ட் கோயிங் டு இட் because doctors you are doctors i wanted to create a simile for you so that you can understand doctors 
when I wanted to say that soil is a living organism and not a sort of a dead mineral matter as being projected in textbooks between living and non-living. The moment I say living, people ask me whether soil has a digestive system. Doctors, when we uh, happen to go and on the way, we happen to see a dog lying dead, an animal lying dead, right, on the surface of the road. One day, two days, you get a bad smell. Vardhaliya smell, vardhilla. But if I dig a pit, put the animal inside, close it. <laughs> Do you get the smell? No, you don't get the smell. Why? Something is happening inside. What is happening inside? Something is digesting it, right? Who is doing it? Who is decomposing it? Microorganisms. What microorganisms? Especially bacteria. Yes. Who do you have in your intestine? Bacteria. What do we have in our intestine? Bacteria. So if bacteria is present in my intestine, I call it as a digestive system. So logically, I can say that soil has a digestive system. Sorry, Kothukara, sir. Apana, soil, does it respire? Just like we take in oxygen, give up out carbon dioxide in the same way soil takes in oxygen gives out carbon dioxide because soil organisms need oxygen right so soil logically has a respiratory system okay sir but uh, circulatory system ah, that's a good point you know supposing doctor a patient comes to you and says i hurt my leg i hurt my leg and you give your medicine, which are small, you know, like those tablets, small things. Does the patient apply it to the leg or does he put it in the mouth? <coughs> Puts in the mouth. Now, how does the medicine go till the leg? Because homeopathy medicine, you tell that should be kept in the, the tongue so that it will dissolve slowly, go through the system, right? So who takes it? The blood takes it till the toe, till the leg. Weightless Hedirikilla, you have plants at home. Do you pull the plant every day and feed the root? No. We put water on the top of the soil. We put any manure or compost on top of the soil. Automatically goes in through the circulatory system of the soil created by the soil organisms. Okay, sir, I accept. But does it have an excretory system? Just like you and I go to the restroom to remove urea from our body, which is a toxic substance. Urea is a salt, we all know that, nitrogen contains salt. This salt has to be thrown out, so we go to the toilet. Saline soils and sodic soils, which have this sort of salts, they don't take it inside. They bring it and throw it on the surface of the soil. In a kvanda, they come and throw it outside the soil. Okay. Reproductive system. Uh, doctors, you would have heard about this in vitro fertilization, IVF. In IVF, what happens? You take the ovum from the female, you take the sperm from the male, you fertilize it. Okay, fine. But where should the zygote be kept for it to grow? In the uterus of another woman or a female or a mother, right? So the, the zygote has to be placed in the uterus. Only then it will grow. Your tissue culture plant, where have you to plant it to grow? In the soil? So logically, soil has reproductive system. Now, so now, my dear, I am going to say, man, the nervous system is a molar organ. Whether it has a brain, because as I told you, my maths teacher always used to do this galata with me. I was very weak in mathematics. So, I will tell you this. Oh, Mandala Kaliman is a brain. Ama. But if I see my teacher today, I will tell him, thank you for the compliment. Yeah, nah, it has its decompose. Yes, it will decompose. But if you plant a seed, it will germinate. Your soil can distinguish what it has to decompose, what it has to germinate. Such a beautiful soil should have manvasana. Soil smell. Manvasana keli patak liya. Manvasana unda liya. Unda liya. No smell for the soil. <laughs> you take soil, dry it in the sun for two, three days, smell, no smell. Water has no smell. Water has no smell, soil has no smell. But soil smell is there. Manvasna undu. 
and that is because of the soil organisms living in the soil especially actinomycetes you can test this i want you children not just to listen to me but you must also do some experiments for me next time when you happen to take a handful of soil handful of soil put them in a transparent glass whether it is made of glass or plastic which is transparent <coughs> put some soil add water mix it very well leave it for some time your soil will segregate into different layers gravel at the bottom sand clay water and then humus humus is the organic matter which also gives you the smell is that clear you can compare your soils and find it for yourself how good your soil is you can compare from your friends you can compare from people you can do this experiment in your own institute some day and find out how good your soil is people talk about fertility ama enna tappu man valam thane yes it has become a fashion children you you take a soil sample from your institute give it to any laboratory especially government laboratory agricultural laboratory like your uh, kvk krishi vigyan kendra or soil testing lab kanjipuram give it to them they will analyze the soil they will tell you nitrogen phosphate potash ph ec micronutrients adha thaal satthu mani satthu sambal satthu ellathai ezhuthi kudupanga but at the bottom of it they will say because this is the limitation add so much of urea so much of dap so much of potash so soil fertility has got related to fertilizers appo epdi sir pesalam soil health namakku man valam venda man nalam mukyam man nalam mukyam soil health is important okay sir <coughs> i'll teach you one more experiment which i want you to do because i know children i have seen some of you in the previous conference which was held over there you come from different backgrounds ungalku nu oru velanmaiyum irukla unga sondathula vandu yaravathu agriculture pannalam there are people who will be doing that in your own native places please children next time when you go look at the cow dung on your soil maadu saanam potu pochillaya potu after two days just go and watch it if the dung becomes dry like a pat paratti mari aitna your soil is lacking in moisture your soil is lacking in microorganisms and microarthropods and worms adhe soil adhe cow dung if it starts breaking them into small pellets that means your soil is <laughs> classic good because it has moisture it has as organic matter it has grows and beautiful organisms working over there shall we aim towards it shall we aim towards it ena ninga as a doctor you are prescribing a medicine and you also tell people nalla saapidunga nalla saapidunga you can you get good food only if the soil is good nutrient depleted soils produce nutrient depleted food for human beings and the second very important thing is second very important thing is in organic farming we don't feed the plant just like you you people doctors when a pregnant lady comes do you feed the child no you recommend the mother to eat so that the food goes to the child in chemical farming you feed the child you feed the plant in organic farming we feed the soil the soil feeds the plant <coughs> and unfortunately in india we use millions of tons of chemical fertilizers and pesticides every year every year and our government say that our production is increasing ninga nariya per gramathil irundhu vandirpinga ungalke theriyum ஒரு காலத்துல முப்பது முப்பத்தி ரெண்டு மூட்டை அறுவடை பண்ணும் இன்னைக்கு இருபத்தஞ்சு இருபத்தி ஆறு இருபத்தி ஏழு மூட்டை தான் அறுவடை பண்ண முடியும் ஆஃப்டர் டூ தௌசண்ட் அவர் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பர் ஏக்கர் பர் ஹெக்டர் ஹஸ் கான் டவுன் ஹஸ் கான் டவுன் இஸ் ஹவு மை ஃபார்மர் பிக்ஸ் அப் ப்ளீஸ் பிகாஸ் யூ ஆர் பேஸ்ட் அட் போர் யூ மேக் இட் அ லாட் ஆஃப் ஃபார்மர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த நேபரிங் ஏரியாஸ் ப்ளீஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் சில்ட்ரன் இஸ் ஹவு மை ஃபார்மர் பிக்ஸ் அப் இன் அ கொட்டாங்குச்சி கோகோனட் மிக்ஸஸ் இட் அப் அண்ட் தென் ஸ்ப்ரேஸ் இட் the company says you have to wear all this, this mask covid ku irukra ordinary mask e nammala poda mudiyum mattingira because our temperature we feel so much pressure we feel everything right can we expect a farmer to wear all this and do work in the farm impossible our farmers don't wear it <laughs> and so most of it goes subterranean your fertilizers as well as the pesticides all chemicals and they contaminate the ground water this groundwater is the water which also caters the need of the wells 
and many children in rural areas drink this water doctors please understand that in case you happen to go for a field visit and parents come and say that the children have a problem in their stomach vital vali irukku adikadi pressure varudhu appdin sonnanga na please try to understand can you please switch off the mic please somebody thank you my sis So that it will not the Thank you. So what happens is most of these children who suffer with this stomach ache and may complain to you, by the way, immediate we think or whether naaku bichu underkuma, ascaris underkuma, or one of these pinworms underkuma. This is how we will think, doctors. But please, here afterwards, have another angle to it. Most of the nitrates we use in farming. these nitrates can go and contaminate the water and nitrates can cause a lot of discomfort for children growing in villages my humble request to you is in case your hospital arranges a camp and you go to a rural area please carry a water analysis kit with you there are simple kits available you can get them from cp ramasamy air foundation eldam so they cost around 600 rupees or 800 rupees just test the water over there that will give us a lot of lot of help so that we don't diagnose wrongly at the same time we also improve their livelihood in their given situation take it up as a project a masters project one of you can do it doctors please do it i happened to visit a farmer in madanapalli this particular farmer beautiful farm all tomatoes <coughs> and the border crop flower is an excellent pest repellent puchi variety not puchi kulli puchi variety it is not a pesticide it's a pest repellent i was so happy i congratulated this farmer he looked at me and said illa sami i said why what happened he said don't no, there's a temple nearby they give me lots of dabbu that's the reason i grow them okay fine but what do you do for your tomatoes for tomatoes he uses endosulfan one of the nastiest pesticides and tomato is taken raw as salad as well where are we going to bring a change please understand we have to bring a change now this endosulfan is a very corrosive children i know that uh, vengeshwara also has your uh, your college also has lots of children from kerala maybe those children from kerala you can tell the story of endosulfan to your classmates after the session it has been one of the worst things which has happened in kerala right it's a very corrosive chemical this is what happens to the hands of the farmers and it worsens the hands of many farmers who use it can we bring a change this is what i want you people to think doctors when you happen to visit look at these signs in your rural area because today everything is growing we have chronic health effects coming up so chronic health effects coming up and this <coughs> when i used to do a project in uh, punjab i have seen children using it but today i see it in chennai city in chennai city and i know that you people have a lot of medicines which can change this pattern can you please popularize them can you please take them please doctors understand that you are blessed few who are going to cure the world please understand what we can do today parkinson's is growing you all know that doctors parkinson's is increasing day by day almost every farm fa family has at least one member who is related to them who is going through parkinson but nobody thinks that this can be a triggering factor to it which we eat through our food dialdrin is a neurotoxin clots a mitochondrial toxin ddt and organ phosphate or metabolism mod uh, modulators organ phosphate or metabolism modulators and we were all saying for the locus control use malathion and other organ phosphate pesticides so somewhere some mismatch is happening doctors please take this ecological angle in your diagnosis in your diagnosis and all these are going to be human carcinogens a few of them recently there is a bill has been submitted as a draft bill to ban them i only wish that they ban them i only wish that they ban them you can have a look at it doctors right okay fine as a doctor you always recommend no uh, patient uh, you do one thing so uh, don't take uh, rice today you take fruits okay fine i'll take fruits but fruits are all ripened with chemicals most of the fruits are ripened today with chemicals and these are the chemicals that are being used carbide <coughs> ethylene because once you add this carbides like for example if you add this uh, calcium carbide the calcium carbide induces the fruit to release acetylene which artificially ripens the fruit 
with a mango or a banana. You know that a green banana ripens this way. Can you tell your patients when they come? If it is green in stage 3, 4 or 5 and has dots like in 11 and 12, that means they have used chemicals. Manja padam vangi saavru namelna oorla. Manja padam will ripen from one end to another end. If it is dark green on both the ends and bright yellow in the middle, they have used chemicals. Right? Start diagnosing doctors, please. On the other side, we talk about waste management. Can Vengateshwara's, uh, your, your college's uh, eco club, rename it as resource management? Why to call it as waste? Waste na kuppa kuppa lo be kaiyu pordo the manuswara the. Resource means mula pural mula pural kaiyu pordo the parvai lalla. Right? The world is now trying to dump all this into Asian countries. These are called as incinerators. Yedu kal chodre na ma. Ninge nari apir ninge alla padichu mudiste. You may occupy good positions, doctors. You may be considered at times. Please remember that they are incinerators. I have seen these incinerators. We and I have been to that personally. Now, they will declare everything else that comes from the chimney, but not how much of dioxins that come from the chimney. Right? These dioxins can be severe carcinogens. <coughs> and what the world doesn't want, they want to dump in Asian countries, including India. Vermi tech. Please remember, Vermi is derived from the term Vermes. B-E-R-M-E-S. Vermes means earthworm. Tech, technology. If you want to know about earthworms, I will not go into much details, just conjoint. There are three types of worms throughout the world. Species, India has more than 500 species. But job-wise, if you take job-wise, there are only three types. One, which live on the surface of the soil. We call them epi -jake. You all know children, you are all science students. Jake, G-E-I-C is derived from the word geo, G-E-O, geography, geology, earth. Jake means earth. Epi means above, epidermis, skin. Epidermis, yeah, epi jake. The second variety of worms are those which make tunnels. This is circulatory system create. They are called as anesic. Anesic means intermediate. It is only these worms that made our own poet Manon Mani and Sundranar to sing a song in praise of the earthworms. Yamanayanum, Nalmanakum, Nankur Purve. Whatever may be the type of soil, the soil can become a good soil if earthworms are there. The third variety are the endogeic. Endogeic. Tamil Salapana, Mel Matapur, Nadu Matapur, Adi Matapur. The endogeic worms are the ones which soften the soil. The anesic worms are the ones which create the burrows. The surface worms cook the food. They take all the organic matter, the leaves, the litter, the sanam, the dead organisms, convert them into food and give it to the worms. And they get to the roots and the plant starts growing. They all belong to our country, especially South. Tamil Nadu is very common. Periunix is the epigeic worm, Lampito is the anesic worm, and Octocetona thurstone is the endogeic worm. Okay, sir. This worm is unfortunately being used today for composting purposes. This is how the worm works. <coughs> it's going to eat the food. That's the food. <coughs> food enters the mouth. These white structures are the gizzard, which crushes the food. These are the lateral hearts. Food enters the stomach, which is called as crop. Then enters the intestine after digestion. Every segment has nephridia, kidney-like structures. These nephridia pour urea inside. So along with nitrogen and carbon, this vermicasting is brought in. That is called as a vermicast. That's the vermicast. These are the cocoons. Earthworms, even though they are hermaphrodites, they require a partner. And after mating, they produce the cocoon. And from the cocoon, the young earthworm is born. This is how a young earthworm is born. Vermicomposting is very simple. First, decompose the products. I'll teach you how to do it. First, decompose the products. Introduce the worms. Keep a cowden cake on top of it. Variety on a mallow chop. They start doing that. That's how. 
நீங்களே <laughs> This is how we do composting. Just for your idea, I will not go into the details. Just understand that we have to put twigs and other things at the base. Fill in the mari put wrong, kuchhi matellam put wrong. Then you start adding your uh, so-called resource materials. It can be kitchen waste, it can be farm waste, it can be anything. Only thing is we have to cut them into pieces and then put it. Because when you shred them, the surface area increases. When surface area increases, composition decomposition rate is faster. but after making this i have to add what microorganisms in our business microorganisms but to my knowledge and experience because i started working on earthworms in 1978 79 my my experience of working with them i find cow dung to be the best source just take fresh cow dung dilute in water sprinkle it it does a wonderful job wonderful job so we just pile it up and then we slowly close it with a loose plastic <coughs> please understand this loosely we cover it with plastic for example for example pa this is the mound that is the com composed of the heap organic matter loosely put a loose plastic on top preferably a black color if you have now what will happen is inside heat will grow you all know as doctors any organic matter during decomposition will produce heat சாணி போட்டு வச்சாலும் உள்ளார அனல் வரும் நீங்க ஆர்கானிக் மேட்டர் வைக்கல் அப்படியே அறுவடை பண்ணி போட்டீங்கன்னா உள்ள பயங்கரமா அவங்களுக்கு ஹீட் வரும் ஸோ தட் ஹீட் வில் ஜென்ரேட் தட் ஹீட் வில் மேக் த வாட்டர் ஹேவாப்ரேட் பட் த வாட்டர் கே நாட் எஸ்கேப் அவுட் சைட் இட் வில் பி ட்ராப் இன் சைட் இல்லையா பிளாஸ்டிக் ஷீட்டுக்குள்ளார ஸோ திஸ் வாட்டர் டியூரிங் த நைட் டைம் வில் அகெயின் கூல் அண்ட் கோ இன் சைட் த ஃபீல் ஸோ இன் சைட் த ஹீப் ஸோ திஸ் கண்டினியூஸ் டு டேர்ன் அரௌண்ட் ஸோ வாட்டர் அப்படியே உள்ளாரே சுத்துது wherever the water goes microorganisms will go so once the microorganism go composition goes on in about a few days the heat goes up you can reach temperatures are around 59 60 62 it can go this is very important for us why is it important because it destroys unwanted pathogens unwanted pests unwanted seeds idella mudicha perage after about 12 or 15 days you turn over the heap when you turn over the heap steam comes is very important for us steam comes up <laughs> then again in about 30 to 40 days the whole heap goes down open it cool it give it to the worms the worms eat it they give you vermi compost which you use it <laughs> this uh, sieving it is not essential sieving is only for packing and selling if you are the farmer sieving is not essential you can use it as such and that is vermi compost simple than it shall we start doing something for our earth some mitigation because now we are in a holiday can we do some home composting either you can do it in this sort of bins <coughs> or simplest i will tell you teach you one thing take seven flower pots you don't need to buy flower pots you can take any container you have at home but whatever you take you must put holes at the base this is very important you must put holes at the base because water should not stagnate thanni thengi nikka koodadu if water stagnates it will not decompose it will rot aligi pokum durnatrum purida right seven pots holes are all ready right. <coughs> put some black stones at the base little bit of black stones in all the pots konjam konjam karungal irukkiya that you put it. little bit of sand idha filter sand konjam pochu sundays vegetable material which you are don't eating the peelings and other things chop them put them in the sunday pot potash then take little cow dung dilute in water sprinkle it sir i live in chennai i live in an apartment i don't have cow dung good 
டேக் சார் கர்ட் நல்ல புளிச்ச தயிர் இஃப் யூ மேக் கர்ட் அண்ட் லீவ் இட் ஆன் த டேபிள் ஃபார் அபவுட் டூ த்ரீ டேஸ் யூ ஆல் நோ சில்ட்ரன் இஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் இட் வில் பிகம் எல்லோ இன் கலர் ஆன் த டாப் ஸ்டெப்டோகாக்கஸ் லாக்டோபாசிலை தே ஆல் மல்டிப்ளை வெரி மச் இன் நம்பர்ஸ் டைல்யூட் தட் இன் வாட்டர் அண்ட் ஸ்ப்ரிங்கிள் இட் இதை மோர் மாதிரி பண்ணிட்டு மேலே தெளிச்சு விட்ருங்க and then add little bit of soil mannu mattum konjam undu eduth just put the soil on the top so sunday is over monday same way you will do it on monday pot tuesday you will do it on tuesday pot so you are coming back to sunday pot after 7 days same thing you keep on repeating put the waste put it little bit of buttermilk little bit of soil go to monday in a month you are going to add only four times maximum average four times once in a month take a stick and slowly mix it up <coughs> don't go till the stones only the organic matter just mix it up okay va for a small household it takes around 3 to 5 months 3 months to 5 months for all the pots to be full because every time you add decomposition is going on composting is going on is that clear right so after 3 to 5 months all are full again mix it up கொஞ்சம் தண்ணி அப்படியே தெரிச்சு விட்டு ஆட் சம் வாட்டர் லீவ் இட் ஃபார் அனதர் டென் ஆர் ஃபிஃப்டீன் டேஸ் யுவர் செவன் பாட்ஸ் ஆர் ரெடி இன் ஒன் யூ புட் லேடிஸ் ஃபிங்கர் சீட் இன் ஒன் யூ புட் கத்திரிக்கா இன் ஒன் யூ புட் பாலக் இன் ஒன் யூ புட் கொத்தமல்லி இன் ஒன் யூ புட் டொமேட்டோ யுவர் ஆர்கானிக் கார்டன் இஸ் ரெடி இன் யுவர் ஓன் ஹவுஸ் பண்ணலாமா ஜூரிங் திஸ் பேண்டமிக் லாக்டவுன் செல் தி ஸ்டார்ட் ரைசர் டேக் எனி பாக்ஸஸ் யூ ஹேவ் சார் ஐ ஹேவ் சம் சாயில் இன் மை ஏரியா should i always use a pot not necessary if you have soil mann irukke pakkathile veetliye vande mann irukke konjam mann irukke sir edam edam irukke engitta right in that case go and draw a circle 3 feet circle but for god's sake don't take a scale matta palaga vendam chuma roughly 3 feet 1 and 1/2 feet deep anga you will make this sort of a pallu you should look like a kadai இந்த ஃப்ரைங் பேன் இருக்கு இல்லையா ஃப்ரைங் கடாய் மாதிரி அது எடுக்கிற மண் யூ மஸ்ட் த சாயில் யூ மஸ்ட் புட்இன் த சைடு இந்த மாதிரி அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணும் ஸோ யூ ஹேவ் அ மவுண்ட் வேர் தி எல்லோ ஆரோ பாயிண்ட்ஸ் டு த இன்னர் சைட் ஆஃப் த மவுண்ட் த கிரீன் ஆரோ இஸ் பாயிண்டிங் டுவர்ட்ஸ் த அவுட்டர் சைட் ஆஃப் த மவுண்ட் ஹியர் அலோன் உங்களுக்கு முடிஞ்சதுன்னா யூ கேன் யூஸ் சார் பட்டர் மில்க் பட் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு கெட் ஒன் வாரட்டி ஆர் லிட்டில் பிட் ஆஃப் கவுடன் வில் பி வெரி குட் பிகாஸ் it will attract a large number of soil microorganisms and microarthropods which will be useful for us start putting your organic material from the kitchen over there kuch jama pudu every day put it add little bit of some water and little bit of this butter milk after that right gradually it's starting to compost after another 15 20 days on this inner margin in the yellow color arrow ukle anga this inner margin plant your kothamalli pudina as well as uh, palak kirai and on the outer margin where the green arrow is there start planting your vendakka katrika takkali tomato on one side you are doing organic waste management on the other side you are harvesting your own vegetables nutrition garden doctor please take it as a project for masters call it as nutrition garden you see the problem we do is we go to a rural area and tell them neenga la kuppathu ki poda koodadhu kuppaye vandu neenga eru aakunga why the hell should i do it there is so much of space i will put it somewhere it will get decomposed why do you bother bother to come and teach me waste management that is how they will talk so i have to change my approach and tell them look here your family is suffering from this this deficiency so have good nutrition if you want to have a good nutrition do it in your own garden and that is nutrition garden that's all that's all please understand this is how we teach people on how to create nutrition garden in rural areas very simple procedure start doing it please Start doing it. Many many institutions have started. Government of Tamil Nadu has started in a big way, especially our own uh, uh, rural management systems. Yeah. Our Achar Bakam, he is Mr. K. Seven, a good friend of mine, executive officer. Number me upon trial. If you want to have a look at it, you can go to Achar Bakam and have meet him. No problem at all. Just go and use my name. He will show you all the details on how to do it. And especially the State Institute for Rural Development, Tamil Nadu. and panchayat raj in the tamil nadu state unit has been doing remarkably well what you find from government of india's table book is actually the tamil nadu model not any other model i don't want to talk about other states 
right? This is only the Tamil Nadu model which has been doing it. But children, please also understand, if you're going to do this and if you're going to teach people, also remember that this chap is a planarian. Planarian, this fellow eats earthworms. It eats earthworms. At the same time, any compost you are doing, because some of you children from your own neighborhood, definitely this fellow will come. If you see this fellow, if you see this fellow, take them and give it to your poultry. Chicken. Chicken Allah. They enjoy this. They enjoy this. If you leave them to grow, they will become this. And they can attack coconut trees. This I deliberately included, Dr. Sandhya, as well as uh, the principal of the college, Dr. Sujata. I want to tell you that um, many industries are coming and saying, don't waste your time on composting. We can compost your material in 24 hours. This is a weight volume reduction machine. You cannot produce compost in 24 hours. In fact, when one of the institutions wanted to know and ask my advice, I told them, and you are a hospital, you can ask him. You can ask this dealer who will come to your hospital whether he was born in 10 months or in 10 minutes. You cannot be born in 10 minutes, right? Compost cannot be made in 24 hours. It passes through a microbial phase. It goes to the mesothermic to uh, uh, high hypothermic regions and then comes back to mesothermic area. So, you know, like you, you, you have these problems, so you have to follow. But if you really want to have a 24 hour biodigester for your field, for your field, then the best, the best biodigester is cow, <coughs> cattle. Feed them, they will give you dung in 24 hours. You can convert dung into compost. No problem. No problem. Children, if you are getting I will try to tell you one example, Raja. Please try to follow it very carefully. Please follow it very carefully. You are going to a sort of a picnic. There's a pond there. You don't have fridge. You don't have ice. You don't have any of those things. But you're going to stay there for two, three days. You have taken all the materials to cook and eat. Fish parking, you want to take this fish home. So you are taking the fish out. Fish dice. You don't have ice. You don't have fridge. But you want to keep it for three days. <coughs> what will I do? The best thing I will do is add salt to it. Why do I add salt to it? Because salt is a preservative. In what way it is a preservative? It will not allow microorganisms to multiply. If microorganisms cannot multiply and the salt will dehydrate the water, what will the fish become? The fish will become carvadu. Dry fish. The same thing happens to my soil. I told you our soil is a living soil. It has all the scissors. All the soil is becoming a carvadu. Is clear? At the same time, children, if you are going to have your lunch now after this meeting, when you are having your lunch, if there is too much of salt in your food, what is the first thing I require? Water. Water. So if I keep adding salts to my soil, my soil demands more water. Unfortunately, in my country, we look at soil management separate, water management separate. Unless you manage soil, you cannot manage water. This is what happens. They constantly apply chemicals. You pour water, <coughs> water dries up. Whereas in an organic field, water is maintained. Water is maintained. And now one more additional thing for you people to convince your parents. You are all doctors. I need not explain to you the edema. You know, edema comes, especially pregnant women will come with an edema. And you will recommend them to go for a albumin test, find out the salt content in the body. Wherever salt goes in deposits, water automatically goes in deposits. So There. You know, which hand looks beautiful? Edema hand looks beautiful. the same thing happens with the vegetables. When you grow vegetables in a chemical environment, the salts go and stay over there, water goes and stays over there, the vegetable looks beautiful, swollen. And you'll love to buy it. 
an organically grown vegetable will not have that much of water in it. So it looks a bit shabby, but it has lots of nutrients in it. I would appreciate if you can do some more research on it. I happen to read from some of the papers in UK that most of the vegetables grown in organic uh, culture have more amount of salicylic acid in them. <coughs> and salicylic acid is a precursor of aspirin. So it's good for health. So have a look at it. Work through the homeopathic angle and try to find out some of the things which could be useful for society. Again, so a few more things which we are making mistakes all through our lives. See, if you are walking in the rain and you hold an umbrella, the water doesn't fall on my head. It falls around the umbrella. Clear? I don't have an umbrella. There's a well-grown tree. I go and stand under the shade of the tree. The tree is so designed that the water, one or two drops may fall on my head, but the rest of the water will fall around the tree. Martha Suttidana, can you remember? Why should water fall around the tree? Because the roots that drink are there. Apana Martha Kitani Inga Utuno. Where the canopy ends. Is that clear? Where should I give water and manure and organic matter and fertilizer for the tree? Where the canopy ends, almost where the canopy ends, about one foot inside. But what we do, in, even in very good institutions, we put it near the trunk and say, Sariya Valaramati tomorrow. Because it takes time for the water to reach the roots. Here, Raja, bring a change. Teach people. This is what we've been teaching farmers, right? And nowadays, fashion is a terrace garden. Now that there's a pandemic, you may like to do a terrace garden. Please start it. Right? The last wall, this last wall is called as the load bearing wall. So from the load bearing wall, three feet very can You can. At the same time, in the beam. Building will have old buildings will have beams. And the beam Further to reduce weight. You can keep casuarina or bamboo. Casuarina or kia. Casuarina or bamboo. This is under the other one. Saukuma, saukil and mungil. What is it? Mala saakla. Alakla. You can do small things. You may merely say, "Sir, manneliya, sir." Because you know, na, nammu urla sotra mari excuse na. Ingi me paado the gire raja. Manneliya. We don't have that much of soil. How much of soil is required for you to grow? To grow mint, pudina, you require only four inches of soil. And I grow methi in these small plastic boxes. You see here? This is the methi. Right? This is the wheat. One of my students, Chitraleka, first PhD student, she teaches a lot of uh, rural children. She teaches a lot of rural children. Shall we make a beginning, Raja? We have to. We have to make beginnings. This is my hobby. This is my house, my hobby. So whenever I uh, find time, I have I have a terrace garden with my vegetables. I have this hobby of adding uh, toys with uh, plants so the children get fascinated to play with it and water the units. water. How much of water is required? Supposing I come to your college someday. In the way, the pandemic, I'm going to get Sunday, I'm going to get cooked. I'm going to get I'm going to get cooked. I'm going to get cooked. I'm going to get a glass of water. They will give you a bucket of water. If you swimming pool, they will show you a swimming pool. If you a glass of water, how much of water is required for the plant? Plants require soil moisture, not soil water. Soil water, if you have a plant, you can get a plant. If you have a plant, you can get a plant. Sir, I can do. But uh, insects are coming and eating away my plants. Uh, can I prepare something organic? Some pesticide, you cannot prepare pesticides in organic farming. You prepare pest repellents. Pucci kulli is pesticide. Pucci verity is pest repellent. So we prepare pest repellents. Pest repellent to are to get no scientists get to get scientists get to And uh, every village has a great scientist. I will introduce you to one beautiful scientist, one great professor, Professor Goat. Goat, it can eat all sorts of plants. But some plants a goat will never eat. The plants which a goat does not eat, they have pest repellent. 
blend properties. Add one of the and the LA Ningatanga. For example, this uh, plant at the base, killer in the city. This is called as Ada Toda Vasika. Ada Toda. The name has been derived from Tamil. Ada Toda. When we were young, that is how names were given in science. I'm basically a science person. So we used to give names based on the species will be given as indica. There is a uh, there is one oyster which is found in Ennor region of Chennai. It is called as Crassostria uh, ennorensis. Ennorensis, you know, it belongs to Ennor area. Adiye mari, there is a snake. There is a sea snake. Adhika, uh, sea snake udhe pere mande enhetrina valakadin. Now why valakadin? Because when fishermen catch it in the net, it bites the net. Valakadin became valakadin. Ridingla. I don't know, recently I read in the paper that some yeah, professor, I don't know how they call themselves professors in some university in India, identified a new insect and called it as uh, Sachin Tendulkar. I don't know whether the insect can bat or bowl, but I do not know. So, Ada Toda. So, you have to identify these sort of plants which a goat doesn't eat. So, we select those plants, crush them, put them in water, ferment them, take this decant water, add one liter of cow's urine, dilute it further, and then spray them. Excellent pest repellents. Prepare foliar sprays. Just like in homeopathy, this is all homeopathic treatment. You can call it as homeopathic approach to agriculture. Arming a yar vandangra, yar vandangra, pandanga, other vermi wash. Vermi wash when they done first drum, then it became a smaller pot, smaller pot, elamerke. Right? You, you can do panjakavya, excellent. All these procedures are in my website. I'll give it to you finally because I want to talk to you a few more and then have some time for discussion. So Panjakavya is prepared from cow. Panja means five. Gavya is cow. Adhenatheva, cow dung, cow's urine, cow's milk. Right? Matisa, ano, komyo, pal, then thair and nei. Those of you who feel that nei is costly, I cannot buy ghee, sir. Can you please suggest something? Nalla yennai, yaru nalla nei. You can use one of this uh, gingerly oil or whatever it is. Along with these three components, you can also produce EM solutions. We call it as farmers' effective microorganisms. Weekly in the product, because of, because of this uh, COVID, sometimes we buy and uh, people give us only a big seep of water, that is the banana or papaya. And sometimes after buying, you keep it at home, it gets overripe. So supposing you have overripe banana or overripe uh, uh, papaya, just take 50 grams of that, 50 grams of that, put in a plastic bottle and mash it up. Nalla mash it up. Add 50, 50, 100 grams, add 100 grams of uh, jaggery. Nalla powder pani jaggery. Put about one liter, one and a half liters of water. Nalla mix pani vayenge. In a plastic bottle, keep that uh, lid closed. Plastic bottle, no glass bottle, please. Because glass bottle will take, you know, you are science students. Because the moment you add fruits and jaggery, fermentation will take place. Fermentation will produce gas. The gas can create a crack in a glass or a mud pot. Okay. So plastic bottle. In the plastic bottle, if it bloats because of the pressure, open you open money, close money. In about uh, 30 to 45 days, open it. It will smell alcohol. Take it out. Add water. Spray it on your plants. Beautiful fertilizer. Beautiful fertilizer. Sir, I am a non-vegetarian. Can I do something with the waste fish? Use the same way, fish plus jaggery. Gives you excellent waste fish. fins, gills, you can prepare. It's called as fish amino. This you can do it in a pot, but you must not cover it with a lid. You must cover it with a cloth. The chair so that the gases can escape. Tenga palmor is another very interesting thing. If flowers are dropping away from your plants, you can use coconut milk, buttermilk combination. We call it as Tenga palmor. You can also prepare bioenzymes. It's a new trend now. Vim vanda, idu vanda, adu vanda, apdinchoti. Bioenzyme create pandranga, chemicals vanda, apdinchoti. Very simple one. Citrus peels. Idhala vandha mostly orange peel and lemon peels are used. Jaggery. Add yeast if possible, otherwise not necessary. Leave it in water. Four to six weeks, strain it. You can clean anything. Your toilet cleaning, wash basin, plate cleaning. Right. 
ஆனா வாழைப்பழம் சாப்பிடுவோம் வி வில் டேக் பனானா வாட் கேன் பி டூ ஜஸ்ட் லீவ் அண்ட் பிளாஸ்டிக் பாட்டில் எவ்ரி டே யூ ஈட் பனானா புட் த பீல் இன் சைட் இட் கீப் இட் ஓப்பன் டோன்ட் புட் இட் இன் சைட் இட் கீப் இட் ஓப்பன் ஒன்ஸ் யூ ஹவ் சப்ஷன் நம்பர் ஆஃப் பீல்ஸ் புட் தம் இன் அ பிளாஸ்டிக் பாட்டில் ஆட் வாட்டர் டு இட் லீவ் இட் ஃபார் அபவுட் ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் டேஸ் டீ கேன் த வாட்டர் ஸ்ப்ரே இட் ஆன் யூர் பிளான்ஸ் டைல்யூட் இட் அண்ட் ஸ்ப்ரே இட் கிவ்ஸ் யூ எக்ஸலன்ட் மெட்டீரியல் அண்ட் த ரிமைனிங் ஃப்ரெஷ்ஷி திங்ஸ் யூ கேன் பரி இட் இன் த சாயில் க்ளோஸ் டு த பிளான்ட் ரைட் எக் ஷெல்ஸ் எக் சாப்பிட்றவங்க அதே மாதிரி பனானா பீல் ரெண்டையும் கட் பண்ணி க்ரஷ் தம் அப் யூ கேன் ஆட் இட் அஸ் அ டாப் ட்ரெஸ்ஸிங் ஆன் பிளான்ஸ் திஸ் கிவ்ஸ் யூ ஃபன் திங் பட் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் குவிக் குவிக் ரிசல்ட் வெரி சிம்பிள் எக் இருக்கு இல்லையா எக் ஷெல்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் புட் தம் இன் எ ஸ்மால் கண்டெய்னர் இந்த கடாய் இருக்கு இல்லையா சின்ன கடாய் அதை போட்டு லைட்டாக ரோஸ்ட் யூ மஸ்ட் ரோஸ்ட் இட் நாட் ஃப்ரை இட் ஆயில் போடக்கூடாது ஜஸ்ட் ரோஸ்ட் இட் லைட்லி ஆல்வேஸ் த எக் ஷெல்ஸ் ஆன் த இன்னர் மார்ஜின் தர் வில் பி அ ஸ்லைட் மெம்பரிங் தட் வில் கெட் ரைட் அப் and the shell will become light yellow in color that's all put them in a bottle add vinegar add vinegar you all know you all know i think it's good somebody's mic somebody's mic can you please switch it off please hello thank you yes sir yes sir we are muted sir yeah. See, the eggshells, eggshells have calcium, you know that. And vinegar children, you know that vinegar is acetic acid. The moment acid adds with calcium carbonate, what will happen? Bubbling will start. So in the, within about 36 to 48 hours, all the important elements which were there in the eggshells, they come into the liquid, take in the liquid. It has all the components, just like homeopathic medicine, ma'am. It has all the components diluted because for you, dilution is the basic principle dilute it spray it on your plants spray it on your soil you have you are giving all the nutrients you decide what you want do it as an experiment check it up this is what is panchakavya dr natrajan avartha nariya panirukkaran maaraachi idella panchakavya la and i was the one who started with me wash so this combinations we have worked out a lot best ku vand rasam saaporam illaya ninga ella recommend panninga rasam saapidunga it will remove all the impurities in your stomach good for digestion அதே மாதிரி தான் இஞ்சி பூண்டு பெருங்காயம் இஞ்சி பூண்டு பெருங்காயம் ஜிஞ்சர் கார்லிக் அசிபிட்டா ஹிங் அசிபிட்டா இஸ் பெருங்காயம் ஆர் ஹிங் நவ் திஸ் காம்பினேஷன் கிவ்ஸ் மீ எக்ஸலன்ட் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் டு கண்ட்ரோல் லாட் ஆஃப் டெஸ்ட் லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டெஸ்ட் யூ கேன் ட்ரை இட் சில்ட்ரன் சம் சம் இன்சைட் ஆன் சீட்ஸ் ப்ளீஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ப்ளீஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் ஆஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வி ஆல் நோ தட் வி கேன் கவுண்ட் த நம்பர் ஆஃப் சீட்ஸ் ஒரு சிதாப்பழம் கையில் கொடுத்து சாப்பிட சொன்னா வி கேன் ஈஸ்லி கவுண்ட் த நம்பர் ஆஃப் சீட்ஸ் பட் கேன் யூ கெஸ் how many fruits one seed will produce illalla that is god that is nature is it clear is it clear raja that is why we had heirloom seeds not to vidaigala vand traditional seeds in english la pesuvanga that name has changed please use the name heirloom seeds note panni vechikinga ma heirloom seeds but inniki kadaila poi vaangninga na seeds if you go and buy from the market market sells seeds of these colors children again doctors post graduate doctors especially please understand please understand that this color is because of a pesticide they have sort of a seed protective chemical that is called as neonicotinoids you can note it down neonicotinoids neonicotinoids are neurotoxic substances this what i get worried is when you go to the next visit to the rural area please find out what seeds they use because what i am worried is most of these farmers they use bd so bd kudipanga and then they'll put two three four seeds again they will touch those fingers to the lips so there's a possibility of neonicotinoids getting transferred to the body and it's a neurotoxic substance please understand this importance please try to convince them as to what is important of course the plants which grow are all normal but it's a test repellent so what we give as an alternative is termite sorry the karayan putt irukku liya theriyumilla ungalukella karayan putt and the manna eduthu mix it with cow dung and cow's urine and make it like a dough the roti maavu pesranga liya and the mari make it as a dough adala you put your seeds potu apdi nalla mix panna mix panni dry it in a shade not under the sun dry it under the shade the moomphali vandha masala moomphali verkalla masala verkalla mari irukum seeds you plant them that protects you from all the insects it's a very good thing children farmers seeds weather i wish that you read the seeds bill which is going to come the draft is ready i'm worried about the draft bill as a person who's been working with farmers the companies are taking over we are moving from biodiversity to genetic slavery 
is it worth it i do not know i do not know and there is always a conflict hybrids and gmos you are all science students hybrids vande ottu manga ottu elivichom so the mango mango hybrid lemon lemon hybrid elimicho elimicho ottu elimicho maambara maambara ottu maambu ana gmo means taking a gene from a totally unrelated organism and incorporating in the body of another organism adha gmo genetically modified organisms namakku unave marundu namakku unave marundu and the vella karanukku dhaan unavil marundu ven we don't need medicine and food for us food is medicine they wanted to bring golden rice children please be clear about this you're all doctors children please understand golden rice they wanted to have vitamin a as a source and uh, last year's neat question what was the source of the gene for carotin for vitamin a for this golden rice carotin sonna one namma kolainga carrot nu eludrama solli kudunga please teach them it is not carrot this has been sourced from daffodils daffodil is a flower right it has been sourced from there sari idu vanda and sanda potom then the protein bt cotton bt many children feel that it is biotechnology it is not biotechnology it's bacillus thuringiensis is a bacteria from which the gene has been sourced cry one a gene has been sourced and then incorporated now bt cotton was introduced saying that non edible idu neenga saapradilla dress da na cotton is a cotton shirt da cotton shirt cotton ga da vaangringa appo but uh, madre illa paruthi paal saapruvaanga nagapatna nagur la paruthi halwa pannuvaanga second and the seeds are there you take oil from that you all know that oil is prepared and oil then the then the oil cake is also taken that oil cake punak is given to cattle so we drink that cattle milk also what happens to the cattle we do not know what will happen to us we do not know idella nadakkumbodhu they wanted to bring in bt brinja katrika edukya katrika no no there is a pest coming in katrika la thalu uda adnal katrika vaira katrika how many katrika are there in tamil nadu ninga tamil nadu thana ninga endu urla irundhalum ipo college la padikkudhu tamil nadu thana tamil nadu la ethana vagai katrika ma irukke ennunga odane ennuvingala pacha katrika neela katrika mullu katrika tamil nadu alone has 22 varieties of katrika 22 varieties and children because you are homeopathy students you must you must link to national bureau of plant genetic resources nbpgr according to nbpgr national bureau of plant genetic resources there are 4460 accessions of katrika 4460 accession vechittu company karan kondu varu oru katrika namba use pannalama sollunga amma yoschi paarenga enna nadakkudhu yoschi paarenga seri katrika idha vandu we fought we have stopped it suspended it simply suddenly they want to bring in mustard kadugu mustard are why mustard man mustard is good why do you want mustard but mustard is being introduced in a different name not as bt it is being introduced as dmh11 dhara mustard hybrid 11 so odane farmers ask me yes sir idu kathringa hybrid thana sir appadinanga yes it is a hybrid hybrid of not normal organisms hybrid of genetically modified organisms as a doctor you must know it why i am trying to tell you is you are all doctors children now please follow it very carefully doctors you know protein synthesis you know amino acids you know everything so when there's a protein chain the dna synthesis which happens protein synthesis happens the template is based and a sequence of amino acids are produced and these amino acids go to form a protein clear when i disconnect it and i introduce a new set of amino acids then the protein its character changes this new protein when it goes into the body can cause certain allergic reactions so much 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 more moratorium is not being conducted in our country for all these components so please understand doctor so what will happen biodiversity will play judo karate biotechnology will shoot it down maybe some of you children would have by this time felt enna sir enna ore biotechnology ka against a pesringa you don't like biotechnology i am talking to you as a former head of the department of biotechnology children i am not against biotechnology biotechnology is like a knife it is like a knife you can peel a potato or you can cut somebody's head how you use technology i am not against biotechnology because biotechnology especially in my country which is very rich in biodiversity please
understand. Please understand. Adi amar tan tanmi. Tanmi, think I have another couple of minutes. Uh, uh, ma'am, Sandeep ma'am, can I take about five ten minutes more if you don't mind? Sir, definitely, sir, definitely, sir. We have all the time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Our wells were like this when we were children. Today, in Nikki, can I repeat it, sir? You guys are very young, sir. Should I tolerate it? Can I start rainwater harvesting? Please do rainwater harvesting. Many people did a mistake because I'm going to sample two feet by two feet by two feet. This is my house where every rainwater is collected. And I only have an open well. I don't have a bore well. I don't have a bore well. Complete rainwater is harvested. Roof water is harvested. Shall we start doing it now? And at home, you know that the washing machine in the lavatory come right bathroom kulikara room and in chennai during summer at least twice we take a bath so maximum water is coming out from the washing machine and the bathroom what is the only pollutant there soap if i can remove the soap that water i can use it for some other purpose indha mari or totti kattuma vittla aarukkanal aarukkanal sadhana siriya koduma aarukkanal put baffles Put karangal and then grow these plants into it. Especially Phragmatis australis, namakka kade kya the uttrenge. Colocasia, sepangarenge. Kana, kalwari. Idrandi easy avala klamme. Idrandi adle aval trenge. Right? And then you make the water flow. And the good water comes out, which we can use it for our garden, for the gardening purposes over there. Or you can collect the water, add a disinfectant, and use the water for flushing. The gas was one of the most important thing. Now you have uh, biogas. It's called as biogas. If you want, you can also use biogas at home. Today you get domestic models which are available. You can buy it. You can use it at home. Nobody and left, other they are still managing. Please understand that these animals, these locusts, they have this habit of digging a pit and burying the egg and going away. Now, what I'm worried is whether there'll be a fresh attack from these eggs which will hatch out in our fields in North India. We do not know. This is its life cycle. It molds, it doesn't go through the caterpillar stage. It molds, please remember. And as a grasshopper solitary, they are very good. Suddenly, because of serotonin, start doing a lot of research on serotonin. It's a neurosecretory substance. It can convert this simple animal into a gregarious animal. And this gregarious animal, why did it come to India? This I want you children to understand. Please understand, children, that this is Africa and this is India. And this water which... Otherwise, they would have eaten the eggs. Is it monocropping? I'm leaving it to you. I'm leaving many questions right. But as doctors from today, please start eating right at least. Good breakfast, healthy breakfast, fermented, steamed, shallow fried. Healthy breakfast. Of course, I'm not against all sorts of food once in a way. Shall we concentrate on proteins for children? For growing children? It's a very, very nice uh, thing. It adds a lot of iron. It has lots of good nutrients, for, uh, especially for girl children. And our mothers itself created a bad habit of tuki pota. They were saying, Such a wonderful plant. My humble request. Please do it at home and also teach your patients who come to you. In email, Karavipillai, Pudina, Idella, and Mixilapot, Arachi, Setrin, so that nobody throws it out. Nobody throws it out. Consume it. Vitamin C. In a normal prescription, Pandrangi for COVID, tablet, Wangi, Safra children, you blow it. Now, here is what I'm going to say. I'm going to
வருஷமாக <laughs> அது பப்பாலியா இருக்கட்டும் கேரட்டா இருக்கட்டும் அது ஆரஞ்சா இருக்கட்டும் மாம்பழமா இருக்கட்டும் ஆர் லெட் இட் பி ஈவன் பம்கின் எல்லோ பம்கின் தட் கிவ்ஸ் மீ கேரோட்டின் ஐ டோன்ட் வாண்ட் அமெரிக்காஸ் கோல்டன் ரைஸ் த செகண்ட் கலர் இஸ் ஒயிட் அண்ட் யூ நோ ஆஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் ஆஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் யூ நோ எஸ்பெஷலி ஃபார் விமன் டியூரிங் த மென்ஸ்ட்ரல் சைக்கிள்ஸ் யூ ரிக்வயர் வைட்டமின் கே டு பி எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இஃப் வைட்டமின் கே ஹேஸ் டு பி எஃபெக்டிவ் கேல்சியம் இஸ் நெசசரி அண்ட் த ஈஸியஸ்ட் வே டு கெட் கேல்சியம் வுட் பி குட் மில்க் வீகன்ஸ் take a substitute the third color is green take green colored vegetables pache nerai kai karigal green colored vegetables alone have fiber fiber nar sat is very important for us unfortunately paneer doesn't have fiber paneer apoy ninga kai kari na vegetarian hotel la vikka paneer is not a vegetable it's vegetarian but take green colored vegetables blue chakra right from childhood we have been painting water blue so take little good quantity of water every day and how many lines in our chakra 24 24 hours follow our national flag we don't need any food from any part of the world children teach your teach your patients that way on your consultation table once you finish your doctorates you practice keep a national flag on your table explain it to your patients let them learn this is the school i studied nikana school ku poran class edukkadukku one one idha avai pidha vechu serve panuvanga enakku என்ன நம்ம உணவு மட்டும் தான் அறுசுவை நம்ம உணவு மட்டும் தான் அறுசுவை இதுதான் இதுதான் நம்ம உணவு அண்ட் யூ திங்க் தட் திஸ் டூ வில் சேவ் அஸ் ஐம் நாட் அகேன்ஸ்ட் எனி ஃபுட் ஒன்ஸ் இன் எவே யூ இட் யூ ஆர் ஆல் ஸ்மால் யங்ஸ்டர்ஸ் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் சேர்ந்து போவீங்க எப்பயாவது ஒரு நாள் சாப்பிடுங்க நான் வேண்டாம்னு சொல்ல பட் டோன்ட் மேக் இட் எஸ் அ ஹேபிட் டோன்ட் மேக் இட் எஸ் அ ஹேபிட் இந்த கலர் டாக்டர்ஸ் யூ ஆர் ட்ரீட்டிங் தம் இன் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வே ப்ளீஸ் ட்ரை டு லுக் இன் டு த கலர்ஸ் தே யூஸ் இன் ஃபுட் and uh, the, the senior doctor it will be easy to for your subject and don't touch it so you want to feed children with a sweet which even ants don't eat and the amount of coloration in sweets experiment has been done in smithsonian institute feeding ants with sugar and color and look at what happens to the color going straight into the bodies why i am trying to tell you this doctor is that today uh, most of the educational institutions and researchers have found that sugar and color enhances problems like add adhd as in children autism spectrum disorder attention deficit disorder attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in children so can we try to check this shall we doctors start doing it these are all dangerous colors please understand these are all dangerous colors this can cause some problem other for us anadha na adikadi solradhu undu inda rava irukke adha uppu potu samacha enna ma peru appdi kekka uppuma appinuvanga adha sakara potu samacha kesari sar appinuvanga yen kesari matta velliya irundha thondi uttu iranga da yema the color which is sold today in the market is not kesari anymore it is yellow five or yellow six what you are cooking at home is not kesari but kansari can our kesari be white in color from today or you add some carrot juice add some beetroot juice or add turmeric or add caramel caramel is a uh, uh, sugar eduthu konjam adupla pachinga ninga vand caramel ama use whatever you want all this the symbol which you find over the pulao pinang abrinu tarasu potirupanga it is a consumer association of pinang in malaysia and i have been associated with them for the past nearly 25 years now it's easy for me to work over there so the uh, the red colored uh, this chicken pakoras the red colored gobi pakoras please be very careful sikrama mela ponona na idella and alarama saapidunga okay purida chakradappa not worth it not worth it ma maattu kiniki pudusa oru usi kondu varanga new type of injection called as recombinant bovine growth hormone when you go to a rural area please remember whether they are using this injection rbgh 
it's a somatotropic hormone. If I inject this hormone, I can take all the milk from the cow. In three years, I can earn all the money and plus the profits which I spent in buying that cow. But in three, three and a half years, the cow will develop mastitis of the adder. Madi vyadi api nwana. Idhu oru pakkum. Inno oru pakkum mosama arukku. Enna mosama arukku. Peranda vodana kannu kutti idhu. Peranda vodana kannu kutti pahal kutti idhu dhamma. Peranda vodana kannu kutti pahal kutti idhu. Ara litra pahal kutti irukku. I am avoiding the video. Just born calf gives half litre of milk because of hormonal imbalances. So, in most of these places, girl children, especially because in rural areas, there is no pasteurization of milk. So, girl children drinking this milk, they will attain puberty at the age of eight or nine. The entire hormone systems will collapse. Doctors, you have new challenges, especially all those who are doing uh, BHMS now at this point of time. Master students are. Is they will go and practice at college. Try to find out what is happening. The silver file, then silver file up in children. We can. This is not my slide. This is a slide from Industrial Toxicology Research Center, Government of India, Lucknow. According to them, most of the shops which are selling sweets don't use silver. They use a combination of five heavy metals, kidney. So, doctor, you are treating the kidney with your medicine. First, look at the food habit of those people who are coming to your patients. Sadhana sweet tanama saptam di manga. Sweet tanga, sweet kumalakara varak can be a combination of five heavy metals doctors. Please, doctors, think wider, please. Please start looking for the new things. So, what is the easiest way of eating healthy? What is advertised on the TV? Don't eat it. That is enough. Food doesn't require an advertisement. What is advertised is not food. You all know, doctors, during this lockdown period, some very important drinks. Are the soft uh, grow I don't we will become taller we'll become healthier we'll become this or not to be seen on the TV at all what is shown on the TV and all these things are being shown on TV today right so what is real please understand please understand and tell your people who come to your patients get there and not to feed them and not to watch this and spoil the families in the evenings. Please, doctors. Best to me in a catering and not long. That's up to our It's one of the best things for antioxidant Six types of plastics. Six types of plastics. Today, the seven type has come in. In the six level, one, two, and five is usually used for food purposes. Today, seventh is used. Why I'm trying to tell you is it has a chemical called as bisphenol A. It is called as BPA. BPA. Feeding bottles are coming in plastic number seven. They must declare that it is BPA free. If there is BPA, it can cause lots of problems for babies. You are a doctor. Doctor, please understand. Please understand. Every plastic container should have a triangle with a number in it. When patients come to you and talk to you, and if you find that there's something which you are not able to find out the mistake, but the patient has something, ask them what they are buying. Without this, that means it's a recycled plastic or unauthorized plastic. This plastic seven, right? The paranga, daily life, unauthorized plastic. Triangle is there, number is missing. Please be very careful, doctors. This is how a child product should be. This is a child's lunchbox. Child's lunchbox, water uh, bottles, anything, feeding bottles, if it is made from plastic seven or anything, should declare talet and PPA free. Talets can, call, can cause endocrine disruption. Please understand. Please understand. And thermocol plates. Thermocol plates are meant only for bread and ice cream. If you keep anything hot on it, the thermocol will melt and the styrene will come into the food. And what you are eating is cancer. And steering is very bad. You know what happened in Vaisak. Steering is very bad, very, very bad. Microplastics, because many girl students would be there in your places, even boys today. We have this bad habit of buying by advertisement, 
toothpaste with microplastic, shampoos with microplastic. Be careful. We don't require microplastics. These pollute a lot. Please, if you have it, don't start using them. Please throw them off. Please don't buy them here afterwards. These microplastics have already come in our bottled waters. Microplastic has come in salt, and microplastic has come in fish. Please understand. Please understand. You see, our tradition was to paint turmeric at the entrance of the door because insects should not come inside. They started coming inside. Competition. Competition. Can your college start with a column competition here afterwards? Small things. Students club. Column competition. Competition. Why? Why? Because the phenolic compounds from the mango leaves chase the microorganisms away. plastic Amazon is selling 25 leaves for 5,500 rupees. 25, the parang arrow. 25 green head and mango leaves picked fresh, 5,599. And EMI available. Maya like in the Pretzina. Punja Terinjing and Anakadama. Idalia Pedating a complete Idalan Nangaman the BC BC Trimla. Not before Christ, before Corona. But 2020, after Corona, you put the pace event. You will wait to get the Rima, Yamuna, Teachers when they the Panano of India, parents expect Pantranga. Every teacher is going to go through this problem. Teaching a student directly is easier. Teaching to an inanimate laptop is very difficult. So if your teacher is going to conduct some lectures for you, please be serious about it. Please listen to them because a teacher to go through this takes a lot of effort. Please understand. Things have changed today. New nomenclatures are coming in. Petrol car used for no electric car. Now they say hybrid car. We used to have physical classes. Now you have digital classes. And somebody is suggesting, why not you call them as digital classes? I don't know what fidgety we are going to do. Anyway, now it is called as blended learning. Blended learning. As teachers, I'm talking on behalf of your teachers as a senior teacher. Because I don't think anybody over there is senior to me over there. Please understand, children. Don't go into this habit of logging in and then sleeping over there. No. Please learn. Don't log in and go away. Because many children don't have that facility. Don't have that facility. And uh, as doctors, as life, still have one small messages for you for your lifetime, Raja. There's, a, there's one line A and B. A is performing taller than B. B wants to improve above A. There are two ways of doing it. B wants to grow hard and become A. Genuine approach. But unfortunately, today's world, B is trying to spoil A and reduce A. Don't go into it. Don't go into it. Work hard in life. Be creative, Raja. Be creative. What is creativity? Ayya melam betrare. Amma ugu bidikla. Amma ore vetre. Ashyam. Ayya arul amma. Ayya arul kudad. Pachi maa. Kabla takka vendi thane. Avala thang. That is creativity. Challenge yourself, children. Challenge yourself. Update knowledge. Nalla padi nyo maa. Update knowledge. Because only this knowledge and books will make you rise up very much in life. Nalla padi nyo. Thirimya manpulu kundu vanga. Mannu kullara. Because when it rains today, water is not entering into my soil. Once worms come back and make burrows in the soil, then when it rains, we will get our subterranean water again. Shall we bring back the worms? These are the circulatory systems. Now, COVID Should we go back to the old normal or a new normal? It's up to all of us. Shall we think something constructive? Shall we maintain physical distancing till then? Try to do something good? I could not get mass in chemistry. And many people say that uh, you have to become either a doctor or an engineer or a computer. Otherwise, you are a disgrace for the family. This is how people say. 
If that is the case, then you are listening to a disgrace. I am a zoologist. I am a zoologist. I study zoology. It is not what you study that is important. It is how you study and the passion with which you work makes you what you are. If you look at your teachers, you can read this book. If you are in the house, you can read this book. If you are in the house, you can read this book. If you are in the house, you can read this book. If you are in the house, you can read this book. If you are in the house, you can read this book. If you are in the house, you can read this book. If you are in the house, you can read this book. Who is the house? இந்த ஆராய்ச்சியை ஆரம்பித்து இந்த வார்த்தையை உலகத்துக்கு எடுத்து கொடுத்தோம் நான் படித்தது சுவாலஜி தான் இட் இஸ் நாட் வாட் யூ ஸ்டடி தட் மேட்டர்ஸ் இட் இஸ் ஹவு யூ ஸ்டடி அண்ட் வாட் யூ டூ தட் மேட்டர்ஸ் திஸ் வாஸ் த கிரேட்டஸ்ட் டே ஃபார் மீ மன் தமிழ்நாடு கவர்மெண்ட் சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன்ஸில் வெர்மெட்டிக் இஸ் அ டேம் காயின் பை சுல்தான் இஸ்மெல்லா எம் எஸ் சுவாமியாக தான் அவங்க கேட்டாங்க தட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் லைஃப் தட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இது வந்து இப்போ இருக்கிற புக்கு பன்னெண்டாம் கிளாஸ் புக் த ரீசன்ட் புக்ஸ் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு கவர்மெண்ட் தே ஹவ் பின் கைண்ட் இன் அஃப் to put my picture and write about me in it idu da ma achievement award ellam perse kediya raja so neengalum panna mudiyum nanu or sadhana palivil dhan padichen padichen ivlu dhoru vandirukkenga ungalaliyum panna mudiyum please each one of you enna padikiram endru mukkiyamra eppadi padikiram endha alavukku passion oda panna porom idu da mukkiyam vaalkaila pannunga enakku science vandu simplify pannanum nu romba naala asama pannitirundhen our government of india department of science and technology பாண்டே அவர் வந்து நோ காம்ப்ரமைஸ் ஆன் கிரேட் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் அப்படின்னாரு அங்கே தான் இந்த புக்கை ஆரம்பித்தோம் இந்த புக்கை கொண்டு வந்தோம் புக் எல்லாம் முடிஞ்சு போச்சு ஆன்லைனில் இருக்கு ஹண்ட்ரட் சயின்ஸ் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட்ஸ் உங்கள் குழந்தைங்க யாராவது வீட்டில் வந்து தம்பிங்க தங்கச்சிங்க யாராவது இருந்தாங்கன்னா ப்ளீஸ் கிவ் தம் திஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் சயின்ஸ் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ கிவ் தி வெப்சைட் இந்த லாஸ்ட் லைஃப் டேக் தம் அண்ட் யூ கேன் யூ கேன் ஹேவ் தோஸ் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட்ஸ் டன் ஐ ஹேவ் த குட் ஃபார்ச்சூன் டு இன்ட்ராக்ட் வித் எம் எஸ் வெல் வென் ஐ வாஸ் டூயிங் திஸ் புக் ரைட் ஒரு சின்ன கேள்வி கண்ணா இந்த மழை பெய்து தண்ணி மண்ணுக்கு மேலே விழுது இந்த தண்ணி யாருக்கு சொல்லும் இட்ஸ் ரெய்னிங் வாட்டர் இஸ் ஃபாலோயிங் ஆன் த சாயில் ஹூம் டஸ் திஸ் வாட்டர் பிலாங் டு சிம்பிள் இட் பிலாங்ஸ் டு த சாயில் சப்போசிங் யூ கீப் டேக் எ பாட் ஃப்ரம் யுவர் ஹவுஸ் கீப் இட் ஓவர் தேர் அண்ட் கலெக்ட் வாட்டர் இன் தட் பாட் நவ் ஹூம் டஸ் தட் வாட்டர் இன் த பாட் பிலாங் டு யூ மே மேட் லி சே இட்ஸ் மை வாட்டர் சார் பிகாஸ் ஐ ஹவ் கலெக்டட் பட் ஐ கேவ் யூ த பாட் you have no other pot now whom does that water belong to me but i did not collect the water you have no other pot that is the situation my farmers are today that is the situation farmers land farmers labor a few multinational companies want to do everything and take everything from our farmers kindly help our farmers please ungalku theva mukhyamana vaartha is management management without the last letter t what does it read manage men manidargalai manage seyavum without the last letter n manage me learn to manage yourself you can manage others and that is management mba padikkana avasiyam kedaidhu padinga nalla idu paarenga idu yen job illa abdingara idhu nethu dhaan vandhu or friend anna irukku dhaan nethu yen job illa nu pogadinga ulagathula namma naatla edirundhalum parava illa idu paarenga avarku irukkira akkariyavadhu நமக்கு கொஞ்சம் அந்த அக்கறை வருத்தமா உங்க காலேஜ்லேயே நான் அதுக்கு நடந்து போகும்போது ஏதாவது இப்படி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா திஸ் மெசேஜ் வித் எவ்ரி சைல்ட் தட் இஸ் பார்ன் கம்ஸ் அ மெசேஜ் தட் காட் இஸ் நாட் இட் டிஸ்அப்பாயிண்ட் வித் மேன் ஸோ லெட் அஸ் லீவ் பிஹைண்ட் ஏ ஹெல்த்தி என்வாயன்மெண்ட் ஃபார் த சில்ட்ரன் ஃபார் எட் பி பார்ன் ஆல் ஃபார் அர்த் சேக் எல்லாமே பூமிக்காக தட்ஸ் அவர் ஐ வியூ பட் ஹூ கேஸ் இதுக்கெல்லாம் போய் நீங்க உங்க பிரின்ஸ்பால்ட்ட பயிற்சி கேட்காதீங்கம்மா இதுக்கெல்லாம் பயிற்சி தேவையில்ல இதுக்கெல்லாம் தேவை முயற்சி நல்ல முயற்சி பண்ணுங்க இதுதான் என்னுடைய அந்த தமிழ் புத்தகம் விகடனில் இருக்கு இதுல வந்து கருத்துக்கள் நிறைய எழுதியிருக்கிற மண்ணை பத்தி ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட் யூ குட் லக் டு யூ சில்ட்ரன் அண்ட் ஆல் தி டீடைல்ஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் இயர் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வெப்சைட் இஆர்எஃப் இண்டியா கிவ்ஸ் யூ எவ்ரி திங் ஆன் கம்போஸ்டிங் ஆன் சாயில் எவ்ரி திங் அண்ட் சிம்பிள் டாஸ்க் கிரேட் கான்செப்ட் சுட் கிவ் யூ ஹண்ட்ரட் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட்ஸ் so children good luck to you and uh, thanks to the management thanks to the principal thanks to dr sandhya dr sindhu and all the participants who come over here and well wishes and all those who are also watching the youtube all the alumni of your college and all the people today let's take care of our mother earth idu tamil la solla pona bhoomi kaga illa bhoomi kaga bhoomi kaga ingirathu only earth bhoomi kaga ingirathu 
everything including the is that clear good luck to you thank you thank you very much sir that was a very great inspirational and motivation session that we had and i truly wish and uh, wish the days to come that after this pandemic we certainly invite you to be a part of us to our college to visit whatever that you have uh, taught us today we will try to bring it in the form and show it to you and take all the guidelines from you to make agro homeopathy to do it and with the small herbal garden that we have in our college we are certainly making use of homeopathic medicines as well and after it blooms and really comes out with the proper uh, research this thing we will certainly get in touch with you with the proper channels and thank you very much again for, for such a wonderful session sir and uh, um, what is it uh, repellent that you were talking about marigold that is a calendula mm -hmm. medicine that in homeopathy which is a wonderful medicine that we use i just wanted to uh, make a reference with and the adathoda what we say is the justicia adathoda which is also a wonderful medicine even today for the corona this thing we are using that uh, medicine uh, it, i have been given by a friend of mine yes as it repels mm -hmm. even we are expecting the corona virus to get repelled from it thank you very much for such a uh, session knowledgeable session i could rope in from all the quarters of uh, this thing so i thank you very much sir looking forward for more interaction with you in from other channels from all our students and doctors and we will certainly take all your guidelines and advice to rope in to make this environment more healthier and more safer place for all of us to survive and sustain yes doctor and i would appreciate if uh, some of your students who do projects to relate medicine with the environment and uh, that would be a wonderful thing and uh, any inputs i can advise them at that point of time but uh, i think it's time that we expand further and uh, i know that today's children uh, i'm i'm really happy that the youth today they have a sort of a curiosity in them that they should go beyond a single system and go into interdisciplinary approach to understand the concepts unlike before so probably with a little bit of motivation for these children who are preparing to do that would be a great achievement for us yes sir certainly sir i uh, request uh, dr mithun also to coordinate for the interaction session and i request the students if they have any questions so please uh, come up to the questions and route it to dr mithun He will ask yeah. Uh, so uh, now it will be a question and answer session. So if anyone is interested to ask question or if you have any doubts regarding whatever sir told you, you can ask in the chat box and uh, I will explain it to sir. So even for people who are seeing watching it in uh, YouTube live, you can comment it over the YouTube page also. I will read it to sir. Yes. Uh, so, sir, there's a question from uh, Srinidhi Raman. Sir, what do we use as pesticide for plants in our garden? Anything from your house. You see, if you are going, if you are going to use, um, for example, if you are going to use uh, neem oil, for example, the problem is most of the books say use neem oil, and what our people do is. Uh, They just take oil, cool. You see, add little soap into it, make a paste, and this becomes a ester. Only then you have to dissolve in water. Namari panala, right? The nalla kira ko to be saaplu manjulbar. So if if kira if fuji has come, that means it's a good thing. So wash it, clean it, and then eat it. So I hope Anil kadu chapano ini par consult ramari. Correct. அப்படி <laughs> <laughs> the thing is uh, most of the doctors won't agree to it but uh, certain things chemicals can uh, reduce the sperm count in human beings because especially the males uh, in fact many many places we find that the male sperm count is going into aspermia also sometimes and uh, sometimes into oligospermia and uh, these are all mainly due to chemical interactions which we consume it can be a cocktail of chemicals not one particular chemical it can be a cocktail of chemicals which we consume and uh, also in the case of uh, uh, production of uh, ova and uh, uh, faulty 
cycles in women folk because of extensive use of light and blue screen irrelevant of time and spoiling our own chronobiological systems all this together operate into it so you cannot isolate and say that one particular factor might be responsible for infertility so one last question sir can we use the vegetable seeds directly to grow a plant to cultivate it or should we dry it and then use it how to grow a plant from that the funniest thing is wherever you throw your rotten tomato you will find the plants growing from there right so that teaches so us a lesson as of now all. that is all about the question sir uh actually many of you have many of the students have thanked you and uh, written many paragraphs about uh, the session so i hope uh, it was really really useful for everyone every single person and one more small thing about which i wanted to mention is i was shocked to see about the cow dung uh, which was sale for so many dollars and uh, rupees in amazon so actually i think i would have become a millionaire if i have saved all the uh, this thing uh, the uh, banana peels and uh, the eggshells which i wasted all the uh, all these times so i think i'll uh, definitely make use of it as you told you told us sir definitely we'll uh, make use of every single thing which you told us it was very very useful sir like uh, every small aspect which is around us we'll make use of it and we'll uh, conserve mother earth so uh, so now i request our principal ma'am Dr. Shakuntala, yes, Shakuntala, ma'am, to give a few words about the session. Uh, sir, uh, sir, I'm very. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. First of all, on behalf of uh, institution and ma management, you are marking me. விருப்பப்படுறாங்க <laughs> 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 because we were we were really it is really thought provoking and it gives a, i mean many information you told which is day to day life la poi irukke but irundhalum neenga sonnadhu vandu romba or awareness create pannu sir definitely our institute our students would have enjoyed and it has created a great or 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 idu create pannirukke sir awareness create pannirukenga thank you doctor uh, there definitely there will be a change in our institution definitely we will follow try to follow it definitely thank you uh, you are talking from heart this mm. shows you love the earth and love human being and all living creature really we learn from you sir not we listen we thank really you. i can promise you and want to thank you once again sir for thank having you, coming once after creating a great change in our college regarding this disposal and everything we'll try to bring you and show you this thing sir definitely thank you very much thank, thank you thank you thanks, thanks a lot sir uh, is it okay to read two more questions sir two last questions uh, students have asked uh, sir you told about uh, pest repellent preparation from jaggery and banana so how many times should we sprinkle them yeah, in- it's not pest repellent jaggery and banana ella vandu செடி ஊக்க வைக்கும் அதாவது தே ஆர் ஆல் பிளான் growth promoters okay sir uh, pest repellent வந்து will be inji poond pacham alaga all these things become pest repellents okay. uh, banana peels are actually fertilizers they help in the plant to because there's a lot of potassium in it okay sir and sir your view about uh, storing the fruits and vegetables in refrigerator is it okay or we should be getting So fresh ones has before been cooking purchased and in almost every household my only humble request to all the people whether it's vegetarian or, or non vegetarian the moment you bring from the market you wash the material first after washing you put them into portions if supposing you have brought vegetables supposing you brought 1 kg of beans because there's going to be a lockdown you divide them into three or four portions or five portions according to your requirement and keep them separately don't every time take out 1 kg of beans leave it on your table till it goes to a room temperature then take some then replace again in the fridge the same thing with meat or fish don't but the moment you bring it you cut them into portions and store them 
take one portion, thaw it. Because once you thaw it and then again freeze it, there can be a microbial contamination taking place. So handling a refrigerator is important. A refrigerator is a good thing, but how you use your products is very important for you. Just remember that. Okay, sir. And uh, the plant is germinating. While the plant is germinating, it is destroyed by rodents. So what can we do to control it, sir? Rodents, you will have to put a rodent box to trap them and then leave them out. Or you have to use a strong something like this uh, current gum. Uh, uh, mix it in a mixie and put that around your plant so that rodents usually smell and come and karanjigam jiragam forces them to go away from there. These are the things which you can try. So, and how can chilies be used as a pest repellent? Crush the chilies, soak them in water, leave it. some four five days take the water but of thanks. 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 i remember and i thank our founder chairman engineer vk Harmon, sir because of whom we all are here for this webinar and i thank our speaker dr sultan ahmed ismail sir sir was saying the living and non-living the living person, the human beings are dependent to the non-living. The non-living are important. You know, we have to consume that non-living, whether it's a plant kingdom or it is animal kingdom. But uh, it should be in nature. So once the nature is damaged and it becomes poisonous, so the poisonous food we are consuming nowadays, because of that, all the diseases are coming up. So nature, we have to take the protection, what all protection we have to take, what all the precautions when you are consuming this food, because nowadays the generation is knowingly or unknowingly, they are consuming poisonous food, whether it is a, a well-educated person or illiterate person, no, even educated person also is consuming all this poisonous food. Really, it was uh, very informative sir, for our students and for all the, not only the students, many family people, uh, many of their parents also watch, uh, watching this uh, uh, webinar. Yes, uh, it is, uh, already they know that it's very, very informative because madam was saying uh, continuously, somehow you get the permission, somehow you get, uh, get the approval from sir. Madam was saying to Dr. Sandhya madam, Sandhya madam was requesting and sir was accepted that uh, request and uh, you really it was very informative and very much thank you to sir. Uh, and another thing is that sir was saying because consuming this poisonous food, uh, uh, we are uh, um, we are developing these all diseases. So when you are diagnosing the patient, uh, you consider the food also. Already we are considering uh, all the food items, what they are taking. Really, we will uh, take this uh, sincere advice and then when we are diagnosing the case, of, is there any uh, anything related to the food this person is uh, suffering? We will take this advice. Uh. Thank you so much for the presentation. And I thank our um, managing trustee, engineer, uh, Sir Supramani, sir. Uh, the, uh, we is continuously encouraging all through our all the endeavors. Uh, I thank you, sir, and I thank our principal, madam, who took all the steps continuously. The steps uh, not only um, um, arranging this uh, webinar, um, uh, many maybe, uh, webinars, especially this webinar. The day when we met, sir, uh, we attended the program earlier. Uh, myself, Sanjay, madam, and principal, madam, we met with attention. Madam was saying. Why can't we have a uh, seminar with, uh, in our uh, institution? So we got the opportunity to, uh, Madam, thank you so much, Madam, Principal Ma'am. And I thank uh, our uh, trustee member, Mrs. Badwamri, Madam, and Dr. Kartika, Madam, all their support in the behind the screen for this webinar. Thank you, Madam. Then I uh, thank Sandhya, Madam, for meeting with uh, um, our speaker for all the arrangements. Uh, um, continuously, um, uh, her efforts for that. Uh, I thank you, Sandhya Madam, now. And I thank um, Dr. Sanjil Kumaran. Uh, he has all the technical uh, um, uh, issues, whatever it is, coordinating with his and coordinating with the uh, management. Uh, for that, uh, I thank Dr. Sanjil Kumaran. And during the session, uh, Dr. Mithun Kumar, the coordination during the session with the, uh, with the um, uh, speaker. And to the uh, students or who are the participants, so, uh, 
for that uh, all the support i thank um, dr mitin kumar and i thank all the alumni and who are uh, watching this uh, webinar and uh, parents uh, not only the parents and the students uh, my beloved students everyone i thank i thank one and all thank you thank you so much sir yes sir thank you for the thank important you. session thank you. thank you and uh, we'll uh, actually we are actually concluding the session so one last uh, word i wanted to tell there's a saying that varanda varada mara mari varano abinte one of my grand, uh, like uh, some super senior used to tell, tell me so like uh, we take a vow to pre preserve our mother earth so if you fail to do that together we'll all be extinct together so from today onwards we'll start following whatever sir has told and thank you so much for the wonderful session sir we'll conclude thank the session you. thank you all thank you i'm leaving the call thank you thank, thank you sir thank you. thank you sir thank you thank you